everyone, it's Corleone from Lightcast Studios. Today we're going to be installing Windows Vista onto our computer. And a little background on Windows Vista. It was announced in 2005 as Project Longhorn, and development reached until November 8, 2006, and over the following three months after, it was released to computer hardware and software manufacturers and basically business corporations and things like that. Later it was released on January 30th, 2007, worldwide and available for purchase and download from Microsoft's website currently. Uh, the release of Vista came more than five years after, after its introduction and predecessor, uh, Windows XP, which was the longest time between successive releases of Microsoft operating systems considering Windows 98 came just before uh, Windows 2000, just I think one year before Windows 2000 came out. And so five years was a pretty long time. However, Microsoft kept up to Quotia when they released to the, uh, Windows 7 um, 2009. And it was succeeded by Windows 7, but Windows Vista is still used by many people today, and installing it is just as easy as installing Windows 7. So if you haven't done so already, just pop in your CD into the CD drive and boot up uh, the installation. So restart your computer. It'll boot up your disk if you haven't done so. And now Windows is loading the files and once we get to the first window where we choose our language settings and keyboard settings, we will begin. So I'll get back to you once we get there. Okay, as you can see we have gotten to the first window for installing Windows Vista, the language, time, and keyboard settings. I'm going to keep everything at default as they are correct. Make sure if you're in another country, select the correct um, settings and the correct country and click next. Accept the licensing terms. If you want to read through them, you can freely do so. Click Next. And now we have gotten to the partitioning window where we have to format our hard drive if it isn't already formatted and wipe out our data if we'd like to. As you can see, I haven't used any data on my hard drive as it is unallocated space and the type is nothing because it is not formatted. So we, what we need to do is go to Drive Options, Advanced click new and we can change the size if you want to partition it or split it into two um, hard drives but we're just going to keep it at default and click apply and now it's going to be formatting our hard drive and turning it into a primary um, type hard drive as it is the master remember Windows Vista requires at least 8 gigabytes of space in order for you to install Windows just letting you know so once it's done, we have already formatted and everything, we can click next. Okay, now we've gotten to the window where it's actually going to start installing the files. As you can see, it says copying files, expanding files, installing features, and installing updates. And once it finishes installing updates, the computer will restart and it'll start completing the installation. And in between, there is no uh, input, user input, so you don't have to worry about having to uh, set up your username or password or your account or anything like that until after it finishes completing installation so once it's done completing installation we will get back to you alright looks just about done and now it's restarting my computer as you can see don't press any key to boot from CD do not press anything just let it load and Windows Vista will start loading it may take a little bit to boot up but it depends on your computer speed and as you can see Now it's time for user input as we need to enter our username and picture along with our password and our computer name. So just enter your information, click next, and then use recommended settings as always for protecting windows, unless you want to change it. View your time and date, everything looks correct, so we're going to click next, and my home group will be work. You can choose home when you're done, and then thank you, click start. So now it's going to start configuring your computer and optimizing it. As you can see, now it's checking your computer's performance, and once that's done, we'll give it back to you. Okay, now it's just about finished checking my computer's performance, and now it's optimizing. Let's see Windows Vista's loading up, and that's about it. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. This is Lightcast Studios, and uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment and subscribe, and now you know how to install Windows Vista onto your computer.